Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tobias and today I'm going to be telling you five things that you didn't know you could do with the Mono Wave T5 wireless microphone. And just as a quick introduction, in case you're not familiar with the Wave T5, it's a wireless lav mic system that can connect to either your camera or your smartphone. It comes with two wireless transmitters slash microphones and a charging case. Depending on what kinds of receivers you want, it ranges in price from around $85 to $100. The one I have is the $100 one and it comes with all three receivers, including the 3.5 millimeter, lightning, and USB-C. And I'll go ahead and put the link for the Wave T5 down in the description below in case you'd like to check it out for yourself. And by the way, I am using the Mono Wave T5 to record this video, so all the audio that you hear in this video will be from the Mono Wave T5. But anyways, here are five things you probably didn't know you could do with the Mono Wave T5. Number one is you can use the Wave T5 with OBS. All you need to do is plug the USB-C receiver into your computer. Then open up OBS and if you need to, click here to make a new scene. Then under sources, click the plus button and select audio input capture. Select create new and you can name it whatever you like. Click OK and then on the next page, select the AI wireless lavalier microphone from the drop down menu. Then click OK. The Mono Wave T5 has now been added to the audio mixer and you're ready to start recording or streaming. Check it out, I'm now recording myself in OBS with the Mono Wave T5. I think this is a great option for streamers who need to move around while they stream. The second thing that you probably didn't know you could do with the Mono Wave T5 is mic up an acoustic guitar. I was surprised to find out that the magnets on the backs of the microphones are actually strong enough to go through the wood of my acoustic guitar. Of course, I suppose even if the magnets weren't strong enough, you could probably just use some tape or something to tape the magnets to your guitar. But I think it's pretty cool that they're able to hold with just the magnets. Plus, the Wave T5 comes with two microphones, so you can use one to mic up your guitar and and one to mic yourself up so you can sing and play guitar. Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, oh. The next thing you may not know about the Mono Wave T5 is that you can use it with the Mono Link app. When you first get the Wave T5 out of the box, it's simple and intuitive enough to where you may not need to read the instructions to begin using it. So some people may miss out on the fact that you can actually download the Mono Link app on your smartphone to control the Wave T5. Mono Link is compatible with iPhone and Android and check out all the cool things you can do with it. You can see your battery life, your audio signal, control the strength of the noise reduction, colorize the sound of the mics, turn your phone speaker output on or off, which is actually really cool because with most microphones, you would actually need to unplug them from your phone to be able to hear your phone speaker output. And then of course you can switch between a mono or stereo signal. I'm recording outdoors right now and as you may be able to hear, there's a little bit of background noise from someone using a leaf blower. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the noise reduction. So that should sound a bit better. And another cool thing that you may not have known that you can do with the Mono Wave T5 is use the Wave T5 with a camera like I'm doing right now. I feel like a lot of people purchasing the Wave T5 are purchasing it to use it with their smartphone, but that third receiver is meant to be used with a camera or actually any other kind of device that uses a 3.5 millimeter mic input. Just take the included aux cable and plug one end into the receiver and the other end into your camera's mic input. Put. This wheel on top will help you adjust your gain level. And the final thing that you may not have known you could do with the Mono Wave T5 is charge your smartphone while you have the receiver plugged in. As you can see on the USB-C and Lightning receivers, there is a USB-C port. This is so you can plug in a USB-C charging cable into the receiver and it will charge your phone even while you're recording or streaming. 
This is great because as many of you probably know, recording video or streaming eats up a lot of battery life. Also, as you may have noticed, the 3.5mm receiver which is meant to be used with mostly cameras does have a chargeable internal battery. This receiver also has a USB-C port on it so you can charge the receiver's battery while you're using it as well. This is great because then you don't need to worry about having to take the time to put that receiver back into the charging case to charge it. So anyways, those are the five things that you may not have known that you could do with the Mono Wave T5 wireless microphone. Feel free to let me know what you think about the Wave T5 down in the comments below. Once again, I will put the Amazon link for the Wave T5 down in the description of this video in case you want to check it out. And if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you'd like to see more of my videos in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll go ahead and put my Instagram right here and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.